Hi, my name is Teemu Pulkkinen and this is Hockey Travels Club. It's located near uh, the capital, Helsinki, so uh, it's not far away. It's 15, 15 minute drive from the from the capital, so it's uh, it's close by everything. So uh, it's that's where the the central uh, airport uh, from Finland is located. In uh, it's called Helsinki Vanta. Are you still living there now? Yeah, actually, actually uh, living there now. Uh, I used to. I used to live before I went to uh, to play in USA. I used to live in Helsinki, playing uh, playing for Jokerit. But uh, now uh, 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 build house. Uh. Is it uh, something special for you to live uh, where you grew up? Yeah, of course. Uh, well, it's it's not a big difference with Helsinki and Vanta because they're so. Uh, so close by, but uh, you know, uh, it's it's nice to go back where you where you grew up, and uh, you know that's uh, I feel comfortable living there, so uh, it's very nice. But at the same time, if you need something, uh, if you need to go downtown Helsinki or uh, whatever, so everything is close, so it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, it's it's nice, like you know, uh, you have a good summer. Uh, solid winner so uh, it's it's I, I like to be in there and every, everything is close by and uh, it's not too busy actually there's not too many people not too many cars so uh, so it's uh, it's kind of kind of relaxing too so actually not too many people living in the whole country of Finland so uh, so you know it's it's not like living in Moscow or uh, something like that where it's, where it's just cars and uh, lots of people going around all the time. Detroit was nice. Uh, well, uh, the actually downtown of Detroit uh, wasn't too busy. Maybe it was uh, maybe in the 80s when they had more the, the car business going on, but uh, uh, the downtown is kind of quiet, but I heard it's coming back now. They, they just built a new arena there, they're building new hotels and everything, so uh, they, they're uh, looking to get the city back, uh, back in life. But uh, when I was there, uh, downtown was kind of quiet and uh, uh, not too many people there. Some restaurants there, uh, obviously uh, the Tiger Stadium and uh, at the time Joe Louis Arena was there. But the outside of the city, is, it's, it's nice. There's nice lakes and uh, uh, houses and everything. So uh, all the, the players from, uh, from, uh, from the Red Wings especially uh, lived like outside the city. Was it difficult to change your life and move to US? Uh, not too much. Uh, you know, that was the thing. Uh, that's my, that was my goal to, anyway, to go uh, try to play in NHL. And, uh, um, you know, so when you grew up, you're thinking about that, and when the time comes, uh, it's kind of like just positive to you. Now, now you feel like you're gonna get your chance, and uh, you're gonna go there. Minsk was nice. Uh, uh, it was great fans, uh, great building to play hockey. Uh, um, great restaurants, everything, everything worked really well. Uh, not talking about the hockey, we were struggling two years playing there. Uh, we didn't get the, the, the wins what we wanted, but uh, besides that, living there, uh, fans, everything, hockey there, it's, it's, it's a great city to play hockey. Well, what did you know about uh, Belarus before you came there? Not too much. Uh, I played I went to Minsk before, uh, it was 2010, I think, for the under-18 World Championships. So that was the first time I saw Minsk and they just had built the new uh, Minsk Arena. So it was ready, I played, I think we played one exhibition game there. But from that time till when I went back 2018, uh, yes, 2018 I went back, the city was totally different. They, they have built so many new buildings in 10 years, eight years. It was good. Uh, I like it. It's, uh, it's probably one of the biggest cities in the world. I don't know if it's the big, biggest one, but uh, yeah, lots of, lots of people busy. You always have to take your time if you, you're thinking about going somewhere. So uh, 
you always need to have your uh, one hour period. Maybe I, I would say the weather. It wasn't not, not too much sunny. I know I know summertime it's it's more sun, but uh, when the hockey season starts, it's it's kind of dark, kind of dark there. I was happy there. I was happy. I'm, I'm happy here. Uh, when when I heard that, uh, I just packed my packed my gear and. Uh, uh, move. I've been moving a lot. Uh, I've seen different teams. I know the business business side of the things. It's uh, it's a business, and uh, the owners, the the GMs, are making their decisions, and uh, that's what happened. And uh, I was I was happy. I was more than happy, and uh, I saw a new opportunity. Does somebody show you the city? No. Uh, when I got here, uh, I was injured a little bit, so I had more time to go see the city. I was like. Two, two, three days I was walking walking around the city, but uh, now I've been playing, so uh, I haven't had too much time. So, uh, but it's not a big city, so uh, I pretty much saw what I what I needed to see. So, uh, so everything good. Now, did you feel any difference from Moscow in Yaroslav? Well, of course, Moscow in Moscow, it's it's so big, and uh, you have so many places to choose where to go to have a coffee or something. But for me. Uh, I don't really do anything. I, my job is to play hockey, and uh, I focus to play hockey and focus to the game. So I just after the after the practices, I go back to the base. I might I might have a spa or something. What was your best trip? I enjoyed being in the USA. I, I enjoyed uh, seeing. Las Vegas, New York, those big cities. Like, uh, but that wasn't that wasn't like a traveling. That was like uh, going there uh, to play and see the cities. But when I had time, when we went on the road, when we had time, we had time. Uh, I always went to see the city. What is the best? What are you thinking about when I ask you about this question? What is the city are you thinking about? Best, I would say, I would say Vanta because it's my home. I, I can't choose one. I I I seen a lot of cities. But uh, it's you, you just can't choose one. It's like every city got their their own own things, and uh, but it's always best the home. Home is home. And the final question: uh, Tell me, please, uh, three places in the world that everyone must see. Well, it's hard to pick only one uh, from U.S. But yeah, there's U.S. There's so many. I would say U.S. Las Vegas, and then from Russia you have to go to Moscow, uh, and then. I, I can't say uh, my home city, but uh, well, I would say uh, maybe London.